Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. I've got another Wilson tennis shoe revelation. And after the Rush Pro 4.0 clay, in this video I will reveal the brand new Rush Pro Surge hard court or let's say all court men's tennis shoe. And this is a big revelation because this is a completely new model. So guys, stay tuned. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line. So in my previous video about tennis shoes, I revealed the design, the price and the technologies for the new Rush Pro 4.0 clay version which is coming somewhere now but we don't know because there is the scars there is the scars of tennis shoe we have very little information about the shoe shipping it's very problematic and uh, guys if you if you want to buy tennis shoes for this season either clay shoe or hardcore shoe buy them now as the stock last because I think that in the future there will be more and more uh, issues with shipping and with with manufacturing with making everything tennis related and not only tennis related but guys hey let's focus on this reveal because it's something it's something I'm probably the first one who is going to reveal these tennis shoes and I hope I will not get banned because these shoes were not not revealed anywhere on the internet so I'm probably the first tennis guy in the world who is doing this so I hope I will not get banned because of this I hope it's not that big deal a big secret but if you look at the shoe it looks just outstanding and when I first watched or when I thir first looked at this shoe because I'm adding the shoe to the sports store I work for right now I was like okay so this shoe looks a little bit like the Amplifeel so if you remember the Amplifeel tennis shoe from Wilson it was something unusual a pretty high, pretty long tennis shoe that uh, helps you with the ankle issues. So it was a long tennis shoe with a special strap that went around your ankle to make it more stable. So you felt really comfortable and really uh, snug in the shoe. And I've played in the Amplifeel. I believe in the first generation of Amplifeel and it was a really good shoe. I, I have to say it was a really good shoe, but maybe uh, the comfort due to the strap around the ankle wasn't that, uh, wasn't there because you always felt pressure around your ankle a little bit too much. And this Surge tennis shoe looks like a mixture of a traditional tennis shoe but with a let's say higher a little bit higher ankle and this uh, let's say collar that goes uh, all over your heel and this long prolonged tongue so I think you will feel really secured in these tennis shoes and they will help those aggressive aggressive uh, players uh, who maybe suffer from some injuries and who like to feel really secure in the tennis shoe so this shoe will really help you to feel uh, really uh, under control while you move on the hard court so uh, the next thing what struck me was the price it's really it's really astronomical for a tennis shoe and if we if we go and make from the Czech Corona 
from this retail price 4290 crowns if we divide it and we get euros so we will get a really really crazy number so one euro is 24.5 corunas check crowns it does mean that these shoes will be around 175 euros that's just insane so i believe not even the a6 court ff2s the really premium tennis shoe that that is in, that is endorsed by and used by novak djokovic they don't cost as much as this as these will cost so that's really crazy and if we go and transfer the check price to us dollars so one us dollar is around 22.5 crowns we we are at 190 american dollars guys for a tennis shoe that is just insane but i believe it has its reasons if you look at the design it's just amazing and it looks like a shoe from a different planet from the future so it, it's a kind of mixture of a basketball tennis shoe and uh of, of a basketball shoe and a tennis shoe and what's interesting is that it this should be one of the lightest tennis shoes from wilson because if we scroll down and we look at the lightness scale it says it has six points out of six at the lightness specifications from wilson so these shoes should be lighter than the rush pro 4.0 i introduced you in the previous video so let's check the design and why it is so so if you look at the upper the upper is a textile upper not some rubberized or um, let's say synthetic material that is used on on the other tennis shoes to stretch to, to make the shoe uh, let's say more secure and more strong but this will breathe really well because it's textile and it's very light and it reminds me the amplifield tennis shoe and if you you can see the 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 chassis the 4d support chassis second generation on the side so uh, this shoe will have great lateral stability and great torsional stability as well i like the big w on the back of the shoe which is kind of a trademark for the wilson tennis shoes and if you look at the the front uh bumper let's say the guard for the thumb and for the tip of the shoe it's really huge it's really big lots of rubber lots of cover and what is interesting is the lacing system because it goes through the shoe it is inside you don't see any holes for the laces and there are let's say eyes inside for the laces so one two three four five six seven and even eight so eight eyes through through these eyes goes these laces and they are covered and protected because they are not open they are not open so really nice job i like that design and if you look at the tank it's really big i don't think it will be like very very massive in terms of the cushioning but it's long and it will it will the, the, the foot will really fit in these shoes really well and the the upper uh, part of the tank will cover your foot and will secure your foot inside these shoes really nicely and if we turn the shoe on to the medial side you can see this four foot um, bumper or cover or guard that guards obviously the the the, the, the medial part of the shoe the thumb which is the main stress when you slide on a hard court or even on a clay court and this red part i believe it's uh it's a cushioning it's some kind of new cushioning that we will see also on the rush pro and this will help you to to stay 
on the court with the, the, with the most comfort and with the best reaction time to uh, to this to sprint and I like this part the back part is also very nice and if we look at the back part of the shoe I will turn it so there you have it there is this collar that goes around the ankle it will secure your foot inside these shoes really nicely and these, these there are two two eyes on the tongue and on the back of the shoe which you can uh, hold and nicely get in the shoe uh, because I think it will be a little bit difficult to get into the shoe it looks like the, the, the back part of the shoe where you go through your with your foot uh, will be kind of tight so you will need to stretch stretch out the material and to get in but after that I think you will feel really nicely in the shoe very very secure and there is the birds view on the shoe so let's go through the technologies I believe nothing new there compared to the Rush Pro 4.0 and we have the Sensi Field 2.0 we have the Dynamic Fit version 2 technology we have the energy surge which is a lightweight eva foam in four foot i was talking about previously this is the red the red part of the shoe and we have the 4d support chassis that split chassis extends chassis under the foot to provide enhanced support and forward propulsion lateral piece runs from heel to toes for ultimate stability and control through our dynamic movement so this chassis goes from the heel to toe and it will help you to to make the most dynamic movements without losing control and the upper technologies are the heel medial drag pad the four foot medial drag rubber pad which is this part on the medial side I did talk about previously and yeah the sensor feel yeah we we know about this and the or and the ultra light eva molded sock liner so the premium sock liner inside these shoes we are used to these uh for the premium wilson tennis shoes they all have the ultra light sock liner which is great i like it. It, it 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 lasts longer and it's more comfortable than let's say the non no branded sock liners then obviously there is the cushioning the rdst plus so the foam in the midsole has the rdst plus cushioning is the best version of the cushioning and duralast rubber that is the outsole made of so there is the outsole i forgot to show you the outsole there you have the tunnel the torsional tunnel inside the shoe it will make the shoe more stable and of course lighter and in this part you can see that there is this cut out part of the outsole and i believe this will also enhance the cushioning and the energy propulsion because the this part will move a little bit more inside when you bounce on the forefoot so the part of the shoe will move a little bit more than compared to the let's say traditional closed uh closed pattern so it looks really thoughtful from wilson and i have to say that there you can see that this part of the outsole is also a little bit wider to maintain the stability as as uh, as as yeah to maintain the stability of the shoe as best as possible so guys oh where i am i need to go back to the products so guys there you have it these are the new rush pro search tennis shoes this will be one of the most expensive tennis shoes ever made probably and they look just outstanding 
let me or tell me in the comments what do you think about these shoes they are hard court only or, or court only and i'm not sure if there will be a clay court version but for the for the uh, hard court guys who are playing on hard court in the united states for example i think this will be a great option if you feel kind of unsecure in the traditional tennis shoes and you need more support and you want to feel like you are really securely fit in the tennis shoe and that there is no chance you can uh, twist your ankle so really nice shoe from wilson kind of shocking when i saw it at the first at the first time but i love tennis shoes guys i love tennis shoes i even love tennis shoes more than tennis rackets probably because i feel really that the tennis shoes are a huge part of the performance and i know some guys and ladies who uh struggle because they choose they choose uh, wrong tennis shoe wrong outsole pattern and they can literally lose a match because of wrong tennis shoes so guys when you buy tennis shoes you need to try them you need to feel really great when you when you wear them and not only when you wear them when you run in them so when you buy tennis shoe try it really thoroughly uh, take some quick steps in the tennis shoe maybe some short runs when you try the shoes in the shop and really focus on every detail because if there is something wrong in the tennis shoe uh, inside the tennis shoe some there can be some small let's say problem with something with stitching or uh, the shoe will be too narrow for your feet and you just say oh i don't care it will stretch no 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 guys so uh, you need to really buy the shoe right and not wait that it will kind of settle down and, and, and it will adjust to your feet so it must be perfect in to, in today's world you need a great tennis shoe right out of the box without much break in and you want to just hop in the shoe and, and just play play really nicely without any issues so guys what do you think about these shoes how do you feel about them do you consider these shoes that you will maybe look look up for these shoes in the future do you like the design do you like the colors do you like the material do you like yeah how they are built do you like that they are they look like like uh, basketball tennis shoes a little bit more let's say bulky kind of big massive compared to the traditional tennis shoe yeah but they will be light according to wilson so guys let me know what do you think about these shoes and what are you going to buy maybe for this season let me know in the comments and obviously if you like this video click the thumbs up button if you didn't click the thumbs down button of course you can and if you like my channel you can support me you can support my coffee habit by going on the buy me a coffee platform the link is in the description below this video and i will highly appreciate it because coffee is uh, of course part of my life i believe almost uh, everyone likes coffee but guys don't drink coffee like like water just enjoy it i also enjoy it and i will enjoy if you buy me one so thank you guys in advance and that's all for now these were the rush pro surge tennis shoes from wilson crazy looking tennis shoe thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting and i will catch you in my next video bye guys